Wednesday live stream, One Rat Family. This is Tracy Walker and uh, welcome. Welcome to another training session inside of our Recruit Like Crazy group where my whole goal is to help you to recruit more reps into your network marketing business with ease and more consistently. If this is your first time tuning in to one of our live sessions, uh, let me just give you a little breakdown of who I am, and then we'll jump right into uh, the content for tonight, all right? So uh, my name is Tracy Walker. I created this group uh, purely as a way to help more people to learn how to recruit. And um, this is on the back of uh, me being a seven-figure, documented seven-figure earner inside of the network marketing industry. Uh, I have recruited hundreds of people into anything I've decided to recruit people into. A um, hundred people, two hundred people, three hundred people. I've sponsored over a thousand people in a in a program before, um, and. As a result, I've learned a thing or two about recruiting and connecting and um, finding, getting people to say yes, right? Getting for people to say yes, but yes in a way that is beneficial to them, not just to me, okay? I'm a baseball mom. In fact, I'm just getting in the house uh, now because we were out there. Well, the team was out on the field practicing. I was in the stands doing what baseball moms do in the cold, have a blanket. OK, because it's still chilly at night here in Atlanta. And um, also, uh, I am a um, did I say oh, master recruiter and I am an auto, a, biz, a business automation expert, which basically means that I, I try to automate as much of my business different parts, different components of it as I can, because being a single parent and being busy with my son and move going over here and going over there and running all around town and having to be all these different places, right, at the exact same time, uh, I need my business to be able to run even when I'm not present, okay? It is that important. It is that important to me. Uh, it's not about not doing work. It's not about avoiding work. It's not about um, thinking you're going to get something for nothing. What it's about is truly be putting my business in a position where it can run as a business, right? Um, I, if you're if you're working in your business, it, it, you're doing too much. You you have to work on your business, and and that is just a, a a principle, a philosophy by which I operate my business on. And others who understand the difference between working in a business and working on the business, um, you get to choose. You get to choose where you want to go. And if your goal is to work on the business, then I'm probably the best person to be on this journey with. If you want to work in your business because you just got to feel busy and you just got to do it, you got to do it because you don't know what else to do. I'm probably not going to be the best guide, the best guide for you. OK, there's somebody else out there who believes you should be doing all that stuff. And uh, I welcome you to uh, link up with them. All right. But while you are here at this group, I'm going to assume that you want to have time freedom. Uh, I'm going to assume that you want to have money freedom. And I'm going to also assume that you would like to be able to learn some skills along the way to help you to do it and do it more effectively and efficiently. All right. So if that's you, welcome, welcome, welcome. So tonight I wanted to dive into how to, um, you know, get, get beat, how to beat, right? Not get, but how to beat the multiple streams of no income syndrome. Have you guys ever heard of people that say things like, oh, I've got this business and I've got that business and this and this, right? And it's a lot of different businesses or entities that they have. And ultimately they're mediocre at best at all of them and any of them, right? We might call that a jack of all trades and a master of none. All right. Now, what is the multiple streams of no income syndrome? Well, it is the ideology. It is the ideology that millionaires on average, right? We've heard and we've, we've seen some, well, I have, right? Maybe you've not seen documentation, right? But stats that say that the average millionaire um, has at least seven streams of income. So what happens is that people who are not millionaires want to run a multiple streams of income play on the field. I'm going to say that again. Millionaires have, on average, seven streams of income. Millionaires have that. Not people looking to be millionaires. Not people on their way to being millionaires have that. Millionaires have seven streams of income, on average. Non-millionaires hear this and 
conjure in their minds that they also need to have seven streams of income even though they're not millionaires they're running a play that is not for them to run it's like this is a play that you play when when you're the defense but right now you're the offense so you don't run the same play on defense as you do on offense right you can't you're not there yet it's not your play <laughs> so people have this um they move, they move in a way where they feel justified in having all these multiple streams of income. And it's nothing wrong with the multiple streams is that number one, they haven't gotten good at one stream. Okay. They haven't gotten good at one stream. Secondly, um, they don't, they're, they're, the businesses usually are not in alignment with one another, meaning that one supports the other. Right. One business or one business can lead people into another business. Right. Um, seamlessly or they complement each other in any way. Think of it like this. People that generally are trying to build two network marketing companies. I've never been a fan of that. Right? I personally have never been a fan of that because I have built large teams in network marketing before. And I know firsthand the amount of time, the amount of commitment, the amount of focus, effort, energy coaching, uh, all the things that go along with building one team successfully, there's no way I could even imagine somebody having a whole nother business in a whole different line of a whole nother niche, so to speak, where you're doing that twice, two conference calls, two conventions. Uh, you got Zooms on Wednesday here, Zooms on Thursday here. This day you talk about this, this day you talk about that. Super Saturday is this on this week. Super Saturday is this on that week. Right? I just, I just don't, you're going to do a mastermind. The mastermind is, mastermind is over here, but then the other business mastermind is over there, right? It is a very, very difficult thing to do at a high level, at a high level. Now, if the goal is not to be high level and you just want to offer people multiple different things, then the challenge is uh, you have to figure out how you're going to seamlessly bring all this together. Like usually I haven't really seen a McDonald's franchise owner also run a Taco Bell franchise. Have I seen a McDonald's franchise owner get one McDonald's and then go get a second McDonald's and then go get a third McDonald's? Would that be multiple streams of income? Yes, but it's the same leg of business. It's the same type. It's the same business. Just we're expanding that business. It's the same business. But to, to, to say, oh, I'm a franchise owner and I'm going to try to own every franchise because in case you want massages, I want massage envy. In, in case you want hamburgers, I'm going to do McDonald's. In case you want taco crap meat, you gonna, we're going to do Taco Bell. You want pizza, we're going to do pizza. Like the person who's trying to run five different types of franchises, it doesn't exist in the real franchise world. Number one, it takes a lot of capital to do that. It takes training because each of those models are run on a different set of fundamental principles or creed or culture, whatever that has been created from those corporate offices. That's how those businesses are built. And so the idea is that it's not about having or not having multiple streams. It's about having one stream that you get good at. And then you leverage the monies from that stream to go and get another stream. That's the idea. And so by the time they look at a millionaire, they've seen that over time that has been the process that a millionaire has taken is that they got really good at one thing. You, you, you guys see like NFL players, right? Like they're, they're like really good at NFL stuff or NBA really good like Shaq. Good, good at the NBA, right? He did NBA the whole time was in the NBA. When he got out the NBA, what did he start doing? Maybe a little bit before, we said he started taking some of his money and investing it into other businesses, investing it into other income streams, right? So you make your money in one pot and then you use the money to profit from that pot to then spill over into other pots. Unfortunately, many people are trying to have a little bit of juice in each pot. And neither pot, no, no pot ever gets full enough to spill over into anything. So then you're chasing all the pots. That is the multiple streams of no income syndrome, 
right? You think that you're doing multiple streams, but you have multiple streams of no income, which means it's wasting more time. It's wasting more effort. And ultimately, it's wasting more of your energy. And if you do have any capital, then you're, you're spreading that thin across multiple different areas going in multiple different directions, which are never going to lead back to, you know, one lump area. So how do we get past that? How do we beat that thing? Well, from a marketing standpoint, you have to understand that we we have things that are you that are called funnels. Okay, we have things that are called funnels, and and what essentially is is a funnel? Let me. I'm going to bring something up, and I'm going to break this down for you um, here. Let me see. Share screen, and let me get this over here. Here we go. All right. You guys can see that, I believe. Yep. Okay, let me put this here. Okay. So what we have here essentially is a funnel, right? Now, a funnel is basically this, right? A funnel is basically this. Let me um, turn it around, though, because I want it this way. And I want you guys to understand is if, if you've never understood this before, you may have seen it, but I really want you to be able to understand it. OK, because this is where the magic happens. OK. So everything might not be perfect that I'm drawing here, but in terms of like the graphical aspect of it. Right. I'm going to kind of just try to do this. Maybe that one wants to go sideways crooked, but whatever. OK. And then. Um, I'll put another one if I need to. OK, so what happens is this is essentially how all marketing looks. Don't even think about a website. Many people, many times when I say funnel, people automatically shift to a website and all a website is, is a more automated way of this. OK, but you got to understand what this is and what this provides you and, and the way that this business works. OK, and when I say this business, I'm talking about like the network marketing business. Right. Let's try that. Maybe I can. I, don't, I just want to add that. Okay. So what happens is essentially you have people, right? You have people that you want to bring into this top area right here, right? And these people generally are going to come from some sort of source, right? Some sort of source. In other words, there has to be a place, a, a, a area, a, a, a origination point by which you are going to get people. You got to figure out how you're going to get people. Now, traditional network marketing tells you to get people by talking to the people you already know. OK, so that would be warm market. Right. It's essentially warm market, but more specifically, Traditionally, in network marketing, what we're talking about here are friends and family, right? That's traditionally what we're talking about here. So, this is a, that's where you can get people from, right? You can get people from warm market. You can also get people from warm market, but this might even be your social media contacts, right? In today's day and age, you can do warm market, but it might be your social media contacts. Are these people, do these people know you as closely as friends and family? No, but they would still be kind of warm because they know who you are, right? If you make a post, somebody likes it, or you become friends with somebody on social media, they know who you are. So that's warm. That's warm. Okay. Um, and really, friends and family would be like hot. This is really like a hot market they, that, that they want it to be, right? A hot market. Warm market would be more like social social media. And then cold market would be people you don't know, right? You don't know. 
So this would come from maybe advertising or this would come from uh, if you're doing reels or if you're doing anything that uh, requires you to uh, go out there and, and meet new people, right? That would be your cold market. So we're going to leave it like this. Cold market would be leads. Cold market would be calling somebody on the phone that you don't know. Cold market would be running a Facebook ad and getting people that you don't know. Warm market would be, hey, you, you're interacting with people on social media and then you might choose to inbox them or, hey, leave a comment, right? And then there's a two-way communication through there. Hot market are people that you know, they're like in your phone right? They're in your phone. You can go to their house. You might know their children. They know your children. There's family members. You guys spend time together, right? Like you may sit on the phone and chit chat or you share whatever that these are pretty much your three markets of, um, of people. All right. So you've got to get these people. Okay. And then you got to put them at the top of your funnel the top of your funnel. And the thing is, when, when you're bringing somebody into the top of the funnel, it should really be about what they want, okay? What they want, because if they do not want what's at the top of this funnel, if they don't want what's in the funnel, period, let's put it like this, what they want, right? If they don't want anything here, then you can go and get your friends and family and try to drop them in here. And what are they going to do? They're going to bounce themselves right back out. They're going to bounce themselves right back out, right? They're going to, you're going to try to get them in and they're going to try to go right back out because they don't want it. They don't want it. Okay. Now, if you are doing this and you do this enough with, let's say hot market, right? You do this enough with hot market What's going to happen is eventually you're going to have something that we call burnout. You're going to have what we call burnout. Let me kind of fix this. You're going to have burnout. And you know why you're going to have burnout? You're going to have burnout because you're not going to know how to move out of warm, how to move out of hot market into warm market or out of warm market into cold market. This is all you're ever really taught and nobody else can really show you anything different. So this is where you get stuck. And this is where most people always get stuck right in here. OK. So what do you do if these people you drop them in and they pop right back out? Well, now we've got to start moving into other markets. So if we move into a warm market, right? I said that's more like social media, okay? What are some social media places where you can get warm market? Well, you could do Facebook, right? You could do YouTube. Uh, it could be Instagram. It could be LinkedIn. Look how all these are like two letters, right? <laughs> right. These are some of the social media locations where you can go and get the warm market of people. Cold market people. Where could you go and get cold market people? Well, I shared some of that before. Cold market people could be um, Facebook ads. Cold market could be um Solo ads, right? This is like email ads. Uh, another cold traffic could be phone leads, right? Another cold traffic could be email leads, right? Another uh, cold traffic could be um, postcard leads, right? I just want you guys to get like, it's not necessarily all online, right? But you can have these leads from different places coming in right to a point where to a point where you're able to sustain cold traffic along with i don't know what the word that is cold traffic along with your warm traffic okay this thing keeps doing that that's weird okay i'm just trying to make this where you guys can see this a little bit better okay so this, these are some of the things, some of the sources, right? This is the source. These are some of the sources by which you can get cold traffic and warm traffic, leads, whatever, market, traffic, market, same thing, okay? So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to be done with the warm market for right now. I mean, the, the hot market for right now, okay? Because if you're in this group, it's because you've probably already tried that. 
You've already done that. You've already, you know, gone that route. You don't like it or, you know, you've had people sign up, but then they quit. Right. And so we're done with that. So now we're moving into another phase of your business. Right. So now we're going to use these mechanisms to get people into the funnel, but it must be a funnel of what they want. Now, if you have company A. Right. Let's say you've got company A. And of course, this isn't going to go. There we go. We'll just have to do it like that. Right. Let's say you got company A. Right. And company A. Is going to go over here. Let me just move this back for a second. Right. Because we know it's going to all point inside of this funnel. Right. But you've got. Company A that you want to introduce to people. Right. So company A. Is over here, but. You also have company B and you want to introduce people to company B as well. Well, what happens here? What happens here when you're talking to these people? If in your mind, you've got two companies that you want to recruit into and you're talking to these people but you don't have a clear path because you're just trying to get people to get in whatever because you believe, hey, if they don't want A, you can sell them in the B. And if they don't want B, you can sell them in the A. In your mind, you think that's how it's going to go. Notice there is no lateral movement in a funnel. In a funnel, the movement is vertical. It's you drop in the top and the person moves down. There is no lateral movement in a funnel. So you're ha you have to focus. You have to focus on A or B. So if you pick up this phone or if you go to your Facebook wall or you go to, you know, whatever it is that you're uh, wherever you're getting your your source. Right. You go to make, make these phone calls with some leads or you go to email some leads. You got to know what which one you're going to share with them first or at all. Most people don't have this clarity. So if you go to someone's Facebook wall, a lot of the times what happens is you will see them posting a lot of different things that are not that are that are not uh, correlated with one another. They're not correlated. So in other words, you have a credit business. You got a credit MLM. OK, but then you also have a health and wellness MLM. But then you also have a travel MLM. Is it fine for you to have all those MLMs? Yes, it's fine. Do you use all of those things yourself? Yes. But if you are a sales rep and on your Facebook wall, one post is your travel, one post, another post is your health and wellness, another post is your credit, another post uh, is the weight loss, another post is the hair care, another post is the, okay, eventually what happens is the people that are watching you are confused. They're confused. You think in your mind, you know exactly what you're doing because you got seven streams of income, but you you working to be a millionaire. And what you fail to realize is that you only are going to become a millionaire when you can make enough sales that you generate the type of income that allows you to go and invest and increase the income. If you can't make sales because these people are confused as to what it is that you are doing, they will like, they will thumbs up you, and they will comment, great job, you to death, but they won't buy. That's what they're not going to do. They're not going to buy it. And they're definitely not going to buy consistently because you're breaking this up. You're trying to do too much in once at one time. So what happens? You try to go and you, you're trying to get people here to a Zoom. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about the top of the funnel. The top of the funnel might be, you know, what's the first thing that the person is going to see? The first thing that the person might see or you're going to invite them to might be a Zoom meeting. Right. That's your first exposure. You guys have heard of exposures before. Right. So this is your first exposure to someone is this. Right. The Zoom. OK, great. But if you've got a Zoom for company A and you got a Zoom for company B, then there you go. It's a problem, isn't it? Because now you got two Zooms you got to try to promote for, which means not only you're promoting the travel business and the credit business and the health and wellness business on the wall, but you're also promoting all the different calls on the wall. You're promoting the credit Zoom, the 
the travel Zoom, the health and wellness Zoom. You're inviting people to this and that and this and that and on and on and on. And, on. and what happens? You have no one on the Zoom. You have no one on the Zoom. Why? Because they're confused. They don't even know what the hell's going on. I know in your mind, you got everything. You're trying to sell them this in case they don't want that. That's not how it works. That's not how buyer behavior works. That's how you're thinking about it. But that is not how buyers buy. That's how you want to sell. But your house being for sale does not determine what the market will bear. It's what the buyer is willing to pay that determines it. So the buyer determines whether or not your price is too high. The buyer determines if the price is too low. The buyer determines if they like it or not. The buyer determines all of that. You don't. You don't. So your only job as a marketer is to figure out what, what your warm people want, not what you want to sell them. It's what they want to buy. And the moment you can make that shift in your mind, it's okay, what do my people want to buy? And you start selling them what they want to buy, it's going to be an easy process. When you are dead set on trying to force somebody to buy this when they don't want this or buy this when they don't want that, and they're showing you because you have no sales or very little signups, you've got to make a shift. But let's keep going. Let's say you got this going on right here, right? So Part one of the Zoom, the top of the funnel is they get in a top part of the funnel that they come into a Zoom. OK, now let's say that they get through the Zoom and they like what they saw. If they like what they saw, then more than likely traditional network marketing, you're going to get them on what a three way call or something like that. Right. You want to get them onto a three way call so that you can leverage your leadership and make sure everybody knows exactly what's going on. And so that people feel like they are in the right place with the right people. OK, but guess what? If you got two businesses, guess what you got? You got three. I mean, you got two three way calls. Right. You got three businesses. Now you got to have three three way calls like you. You doing two zooms, A and B. You doing three ways for both companies. Right. Do you guys see what this is going? This is chaotic. This is chaotic. This is why it's multiple streams of no income, because this is the way it works. And this is what you're doing. OK, so then after the three way call, then what do you hope to do? You help you hope to help get the person enrolled. Right. So now the person gets enrolled, hopefully. OK. And everybody is happy. And now you've got a new team member. But if you try to get somebody enrolled in a different company as well, guess what? You now have another team member. And now you've got a whole another onboarding process for this group, a whole onboarding process for this group. You got a whole Facebook group for this company and a whole Facebook group for that company. You got a whole set of people that's over here and a whole set of people that's over there. This right here will wear you out before you even think about hitting seven figures. So the ideology of thinking I want to be able to offer multiple things to people may not be a bad idea, but the way that traditionally this is done, it doesn't work. Now, I will also say this. I will also say this. I have personally never met anybody that is a seven or eight figure earner in network marketing that has done this. I've never met anybody that has done this at the same time. At the same time, never, never a seven figure earner or an eight figure earner. I've never met them. And the industry is small. Once you are really in it and you do this for real, it's small. I do not know any seven or eight figure earner that built two companies simultaneously. It has never happened. Now, who am I to tell you that it could never happen? I'm just saying, look at it. Is this the kind of business that you want to run? Is this the business model that you want to set forth where now when people join you, this is what you, this is the play that you're running. And now you're going to try to teach them to run this play. You can barely run this play. Now you're going to try to have somebody else run this play. While they're unskilled and they don't even have any hot market people, they don't hardly have any warm market people. So now you got to teach them cold market to go do this. So they got to learn advertising. They got to learn how to deal with leads. They got to learn all of the skills of this sourcing. Then they got to get people in here. They got to learn a sales process. 
Then you got to do Zooms. Then you got to get on three-way calls. Then you get, get them enrolled. Now you got to get them onboarded. And then you got to take their calls. Now you got to answer their questions. They call on your phone. Then they got three-way calls. Then they got three. This is just people you're bringing in. But when they start doing it, now you have their three-way calls and this company and that company. It is insanity. I've never seen anybody do it. Now, what I have seen a couple times, people would build company A, right? Reach the top of that company, make you know a significant amount of coins in that company, and then they'll say, you know what? Let me go do something else because I want to. I'm going to leverage my time. I'm going to do something. My, this business is running on autopilot, like you know. What I'm saying that team, that team is taking off. You got multiple leaders. You got leadership in the group, right? So they're taking over things. You don't have to be the go-to, the be-all, see-all person. You can actually go over here and do something else. I've seen that. Build one, then start the other. Build two at the same time, build three at the same time. Never seen it. Especially when in network marketing, the average person is 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 part time anyway. They're not even full time doing this. So so who has time to do all of this? Who has time to do all of this? And they're working full time. This is this is a formula for failure. OK, and, and for those of you that have multiple businesses, um, I've only I've only seen maybe one way that you'll be able to kind of streamline this stuff. That's what we're going to talk about here. This is the only way I'm, I can see you beating the multiple streams of no income syndrome. I mean, you could always get rid of a stream of income. You could always get rid of one or because it's no income anyway. You think it's income. You, you just like having it. Right. It's really not producing any money anything significant for you to be able to quit your job or walk away from a job or bring a spouse home or, you know what I'm saying? Nothing significant where you say, oh yes, this is a full time something where this is worth my time and effort. No, you probably make a couple dollars. Most people make a couple dollars in all these different things. And then they're like, oh, I'm, I'm stressed out. So this is the way a funnel works. Nothing to do with a web page. This is the process. A funnel is a process. A funnel is a process. So this is like traditional network marketing, right? And even it's Zoom, but I could even do hotel meeting because people used to tell me all the time you couldn't build a business on the internet until I made a million dollars building a business on the internet. Then all of a sudden, oh, you can, you can, you can build community, you can build community, <laughs> right? Um, so, so this is more of the manual way. You got to be present. You got to be present at the Zoom. You got to be present on the three-way call and you got to be present to help the people here. And remember, I told you I'm a business automation expert. So these things for me don't work. These things for me don't work for me because of my lifestyle and me being a single parent and me having to be at the baseball field at seven, eight o'clock at night at any random night of the week, depending on when his game is, depending on what his coach calls for practice, depending on if I need to move his batting practice to a different day. For me to have a standard set time that I'm going to do a Zoom every day or one day of the week or two days, I can't commit to that. I can't commit to that. So if this is the only way someone is presenting to me to build the business, I'm going to probably say I can't do this business. I would say I can't do this business because I can't commit to eight o'clock every Tuesday and Thursday. I can't commit to when somebody call me and for a three way randomly, I'm driving home from carpool. OK, I, I can't do that. Or I got to go to the birthday party. I, I can't do a three way call at the birthday party. You guys get what I'm saying? So this is the traditional manual way. So what is the other way? Well, if that's traditional and manual, let me give you what would be more of an automated way. And I'm going to remove these because we're not doing that. OK, we're going to focus. We're going to focus for a second so I can paint the picture for you. Then we'll come back. So if this is the traditional automated way. I mean, the traditional manual way of doing it. What would be the automated way? Well, the automated way would be here instead of a Zoom meeting giving the presentation, what would be happening here would be a lead capture page. A lead capture page is going to give the person access to the information. That's done without you. You don't have to be on the Zoom. You don't have to be on the website 
when the person comes to the website. Could you imagine sitting on the side of the, of the internet and a website's right there and you sitting there on the side of the website trying to see if people are opting in? Like that's visually what you would need to do if you were going to do like a Zoom. Because on a Zoom, you're on there and you're hoping your guest shows up or you're calling your guest. Hey, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming because it's happening right now. This is the only time it's happening until next week. It's eight o'clock right now. Where you at? I need you on this Zoom. Come on, I'll come. Remember this? I'll come pick you up. I'm gonna drive your house. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna bring your butt to this meeting. Uh, I don't have time today to go pick up nobody, nor do I want to. Nor do I want to drive to your house and pick your grown behind up to get you to come to something that if you wanted it, I wouldn't have to do that. If you wanted it, I wouldn't have to do that. Hello, I'm picking you up to ensure that you get there because you don't really want it. At least not yet. So we're going to remove Zoom and we're going to do lead capture page instead. Why? Because I can automate this. I can build a lead capture page one time and I can have people coming from any of these sources dropping into this thing 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week with one link. Could I be at the baseball field and drop a link in the DM? I sure could. Could I be at the baseball field and, and and write a little post while I or could I be at the carpool line sitting in the line and make a little post and drop the link right there? And anybody who comes to my Facebook wall or Instagram or LinkedIn, could they see that? Yep, they sure could. Could I put a story together on Instagram stories or Facebook stories and drop a link inside of there and somebody could click on it and go to this page? I sure could. See, the idea is that you don't want to have to be present. It doesn't mean the work isn't being done. It just means you're the one not doing it. There's nothing wrong with you, the one not doing the work. You did the work to set up the capture page so that you could have automation. Now, once a person comes to the lead capture page, after they put their name and email in, they're going to see what? They're going to see a video. We call that. We call that a VSL. That's a video sales letter, right? I'm going to do away with this and I'm going to put this here because this is what they're going to see. They're going to see a VSL. They don't need to talk to me. They don't need to talk to my upline. They don't need to be on a phone call with me. They don't need to do any of that. They need to watch this video. They need to watch this video. This video can play on demand. It could be playing in China while somebody else is watching it in Antarctica, while simultaneously somebody else is watching it in Dubai. Somebody else is watching it in Colombia. Somebody else is watching it in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Somebody else is watching it in Anchorage, Alaska. There could This one video could be playing on demand in multiple places when a person hits the play button, wherever they are in the world, and you could actually be in your bed sleep. But if you are confined to a Zoom and then a three-way call, you can't be asleep. You can't be asleep if you have to be on the Zoom and have to be on a three-way call too. But you can be asleep. You can be driving. You can be at the at the Christmas party. You can be at the school dance. You can be at the uh, karate tournament. You can be at the basketball game while this is happening. Even if you pull your phone out for a second to drop a link, do, 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 copy, paste. That's far better than you walking out of your child's basketball game because you got to do a dying on three-way call with somebody because you're trying to make money at the same time you're trying to be a parent. I don't want to be that parent. That's not the parent that I am. And I'm not going to be her. Because when I'm doing things with my son, I want to do things with my son. And if I'm moving about in my life, I want to have a business, but I want to have a business I can do while I'm doing what I'm doing, but I don't want to be taking all of my time and attention off my child who I know is looking, playing baseball. I know he's looking in the stands to see if I'm watching him. I know he's looking. And if he's looking in those stands and every time he look, he can't see me because I'm off in the parking lot because I got to do a three-way call. Wait a second. Hold on. It's not worth it to me because I'm never going to get that time back. I can have 40,000 three-way calls over the next 30 years because I can keep joining businesses. I have people wanting to know more about this business. So when you have a VSL set up, it's not that a presentation is not happening. It's not that nobody's doing the work. It's that the person who's presenting on the video did the work the one time, and now you're leveraging a presentation that actually has proven itself to convert sales.
So if you knew this video could convert sales, how many times would you show it? As many times as you could. Just like if you were at a network marketing business, a network marketing meeting, the presenter, you know, your favorite presenter in the front of the room. How many times did that person can that person present that night? Well, the meeting's at seven o'clock. They're going to present at seven. Well, what if your guests got there at 730 because of traffic? Is that person going to start their presentation all over so that your person gets it? No, they missed it. Oh, well, now you got to explain it to them or they now you mad because they wasn't on time. There's all these different nuances where if it's a video, it's not a particular time. It's watch it when you're in the bed. Watch it when you put the kids down. Watch it once you fix the dinner. Watch it when you're taking a bath. Watch it when you're taking your lunch break. Watch it when Whenever you need to watch it and replay it if you need to replay it pause it right you're giving the buyer much more flexibility in their interaction with you while simultaneously freeing up yourself is that what you want freedom like this is like my whole team my whole everything is about freedom hello i, I don't know about y'all i don't want to be confined to this business Maybe back in 1970, there was none of this stuff. So this was the way to do it. You had to do it that way. But we don't have to do it that way. So now a person comes through here. They don't need you to do that. Then they watch the video. They don't need you to do that. And guess what? They can still enroll. They can still enroll right here. Why? Because this VSL has a button. This VSL has a button that says buy now on it or join now or enroll or whatever the call to action is. This button is sitting underneath this video and it tells them to click it to do that. And when they click it to do that, an order form pops up and people enroll. This is called autopilot sales. This is called autopilot sales. Now, there are people out there who want you to believe that this doesn't work. There are people that want you to believe that it's, it's too difficult to learn how to do this. This is a distraction. This is a distraction because we'd rather you spend all of your time bugging the hell out of these people to get to this Zoom versus versus leveraging your time to do this such that you can have hundreds of people coming into this from this day forward. Oh, you don't need the video. You got to do the work. You got to do the work. You can't get past doing the work. Okay, great. So while I'm waiting on seven o'clock when nobody can come at seven o'clock because people are just getting off work, they late, they husband need this, they wife need this, oh, the kid was sick because of all these different nuances that take place that we know happens in life. Then now you're just not going to have nobody on your Zoom for a three-way. Oh, they can't do the three-way today. Oh, they canceled or you called. They didn't answer the phone. You, you put in your schedule to be on a three-way at eight o'clock. You called your upline, said be on this three-way at eight o'clock. So now here I am, if I'm your upline, I'm sitting around waiting for your call. And then I get a text from you that said, never mind, the person isn't ready. So I scheduled in my time, eight o'clock. So I stepped away from my child's baseball game to come do this three-way call with you. And then at 8.05, I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting. 8.05, I get a text that says, oh, never mind, abort the mission because the person didn't show up. Waste of my time and waste of your time. Now I'm going to go back to the baseball game and sit there when I really didn't even have to leave. Why? Because if you're smart, you just automate the process. You'd have a sales video right here and then you have a buy now button. You have a buy now button. And if you really wanted to be jiggy with it, you could put your phone number right here. Hey, if you have any questions, text me at this number. And it's on this web page. So they see it and they feel like, oh, I, I, let me see if this is a real person. Or let me see if this is, you know, true. Is this a scam or whatever? And then they text you. I could sit there and answer a text from a person who's already watched my video. This is now what we would call more of a warm lead because they've gone through the first and they've watched the second. And now they're asking, they're, it's a buying questions. I say what I say, they call, they text, whatever, or they don't. They hit the buy now button and they enroll. When this autopilot sale happens, what happens? I just very easily do what? I get an email. I get an email that says, uh, congratulations. That's what I get, right? I get a congrats email. 
right? You got a new sign up. You got a new enroll. Uh, you got a new member. You got a new enrollment. You have a new uh, business partner. You have a new whatever it is, right? I get this email. Now, I like getting these emails when I'm doing other stuff. I like getting these emails like this morning. I got a $400 email that I made $400 while I was making some waffles and my plant-based uh, my, my plant based um, sausage patty. I didn't have to do a three-way call to make $400. You know why? Because the person who saw this video, it made sense to them. And because it was what they wanted, they hit the buy button. We're adults. They hit the buy button, they got enrolled, and then I got an email. I get $20 emails two, three times a day. Why? Because people go through this process and they sign up on autopilot. Now, this is where it really gets good because we're talking about multiple streams of no income, right? Because you get multiple businesses. But what if, what if we looked at this thing and now that a person was enrolled, right? I'm going to just remove this for the time being. Now that this person Oops. Now that this person is enrolled, I was going to throw my whole thing off. Never mind, y'all. I'm going to draw another one. Now that this person is enrolled, what if part of their enrollment steps? What if part of their enrollment steps now? Sorry about that, guys. Right now they're enrolled. What if step one was set up, right? Set up your, let's say your back office, right? Just to get acclimated with whatever it is. So this is what they do, right? What if step two was join this program? And let's just say this was your A business. And then what if step three was join this program. And now this was your B business. And what if step four was how to get more people, right? And this was money right here. So when somebody was like, or how do I get more people, right? Let's just, let's just call this, cause this is really traffic. Right. How do I get more of these people? How do I get more of these people dropping into the top of here? Well, once you enrolled, what if you bought traffic that allowed you to get more people into here? Because what you enrolled in was to have this whole thing set up for yourself. So now you enrolled. And they told you to go set this thing up. And you, okay, you found stuff, you did that. Then it said, join this program. Now you're going to join your sponsor's program. Then it said, join this program. Then you're going to join your sponsor's other program. Then they say, well, here's how you get more people. So then you go and you, you, you buy the, 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 tra the traffic so you can get more people into here so that what can happen for you? So that you can now get more enrolled. You can now get these emails. And now you can make money on this. What if your programs were set up here? Instead of trying to get somebody to join program A up here and then trying to get somebody to join program B over here at the top of the funnel, at the top of the funnel, which that is not a good way to do it. What if you just waited and reserved that and you brought people in at the bottom of the funnel? What if you waited and brought them to the bottom of the funnel? Now you could actually streamline program A, streamline program B, and guess what you got right here? Guess what you really have right here? Because when somebody enrolls, they had to pay something, didn't they? That's really what that email is about. They enroll and you get money. So once they enroll and they start going through this and you get money, you're going to get this money whether they join program A or whether they join program B or not. 
Do you understand that? They joined this. You're going to make money whether they did program A or program B or not. If you don't have this and you're trying to get them into program A and program B and they don't join program A or B, you make no money in program A or B or anything. C, D, E, F, G. You make zero bucks. You have zero coins. Because that process does not work as nicely as if you give somebody what they want and then you drop them into this. They buy and then you recommend. Aren't you uh, in the referral business? Don't you make referrals to people, right? You're an affiliate of something. You're a network marketing um, business partner or distributor or some sort, right? You refer people to these products. They like you to say word of mouth. They want you should be a product of the product, right? So you're making a referral. You're saying, hey, I use this skincare. Oh, and my skin made my skin feel so good. Well, if the person up here feels like they have great skin, they're not interested. If you say, oh my goodness, this is the best Rib eye beef steak you could ever get on the market. It's the leanest. It's the cleanest. It comes from grass fed cows and it's you can't get it nowhere else at this price. And then you put them at the top and they say, oh, wait, like me, uh, I don't eat meat. So now you're trying to throw everybody who they don't want. But if you give people what they want, which is a streamlined way to sell something and make money. Then when they buy, you can refer. If they don't want to buy, they don't have to buy. But you are not at a loss of dollars. You're not at a loss of dollars. So if you want to beat the multiple streams of no income, you've got to restructure how your model is built. You cannot have that previous model I had up here with the line down the middle trying to offer multiple things at the top of the funnel. It's confusing. It's not going to happen. You look crazy. People don't trust you. You look wishy-washy and it's a no-go. It's a no-go long term. Yeah, you might have got a few. Yeah, you might got it rolling a little bit, but you ain't going to get rich and you sure ain't going to make seven figures with A and B trying to run them in tandem. It ain't going to happen. If you restructure the model, you don't have to stop your affiliate programs. You don't have to stop building the multiple businesses if you don't want to. Traditionally, people would just try to discourage you from having multiple businesses. And like I said to you, I'm not a big fan of multiple businesses. Referral programs or things that people can use. Yeah. But a business like, hey, buy this McDonald's. OK, then come on, not buy this Burger King. Now, I don't I don't think you should do that. I don't think two different businesses is going to be the ideal situation unless unless you have a model that allows you to introduce people in this fashion. If you're trying to run it concurrent, you're going to be unsuccessful. If you run it in a vertical drop, you have a better chance of being successful. Have I seen this model work yet? I've seen people make millions of dollars in this model. I've seen people make millions of dollars in this model. I've never seen people make millions of dollars in that AB dropping at the top model. Never seen it. Zoom, zoom, three-way, three-way, sign up, sign up, uh, convention, convention, meeting, meeting, training, training. Never seen it. Never seen it. But if you do this, Notice how there's no Zoom in the first place. That means if somebody joins program A with you and somebody joins program B with you and then you've introduced them to this, guess what they now have? The same thing you had, which means they don't have to do Zooms and they don't have to do meetings and they can join both of your businesses without feeling pulled or torn as to how am I supposed to build both of these businesses? They can literally market one thing, which is what people want. So let's talk about that really quickly. What is it that people want? What is it that people want? Let me see in the chat, in the comment section. What is it that people want, guys? Your ideal prospect. 
the ideal person that you want to join your business, what is it they want? If you can't tell me what they want, then you're not ready to market. And that's why you're not making any sales because it's about you. Join my team. Get on my team. Why you ain't signed up to my team? Join my business. My business. My business paid me. My team is doing this. Our company is doing that. These people are doing this. Okay. But what do they want? Remember, we're at the top of the funnel. Let me put this back here. We're at the top of the funnel. They don't, they, they ain't learned nothing about none of this stuff yet. What do they want? When they came to the internet, when they went to work that day, when they got up that morning, they don't even know you yet. They haven't even run into you yet with this. They haven't run into you yet. They just living their life, living their life. What do these people want? Okay, so somebody put in the chat, they want instant gratification. Well, what does that mean? I, I don't know if they want instant grati gratification. I don't know what that means per se. What, what is it that they want? So when somebody goes to the internet and they go to Google, do they type in, how do I get instant gratification? Is that something that people usually type in if they're looking to make money in the business? Okay, so here we go. So somebody says freedom to do whatever they want. Okay. So they want freedom, right? Freedom to do what they want. Got it. What else do people want? Time freedom. I see that in the chat. Okay. What else do people want? A solution. A solution to what? What's the problem? What do they look? What do they want? What does a person want? What did you want? What did you want? When you went to the internet or somebody called you up or text you or DM'd you or whatever and told you about the business that you're in right now, what did you want? What did you want? What made you say yes? Okay, extra money. Here we go. People want extra money. Right? Yep. Extra income. There we go. What what else do people? So we got time freedom. We want extra income, and we want for them to do what they want. Guys, do, would you agree? Would you agree that the average person that we are more alike than we are different? That we are more alike than we are different. If you understand that people want to do what they want to do when they want to do it, which is the time freedom, with who they want to do it with, without their bank account telling them they can't do it. In other words, they got the money to do it. There's no financial restriction. If you understand that's what people want, then that is what you should be offering people. But you're not offering people that. What you're offering people is join your team. What you're offering people is, oh, did you try my new product yet? Now, listen, if you're selling products, if you are a, a retail selling, a retailer selling products, then yeah, then 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 those people don't want money, freedom to do what they want. They don't want time freedom. They don't want extra money. If you're selling products, then maybe you have like I said, the skincare. What do those people? They want to get rid of the acne. Now, if you're talking to somebody that wants to get rid of acne, then you need to show them a product that helps get rid of acne. If you're talking to a person who wants to lose weight, because that's what you're doing, you're talking. Then you need to show people who want to lose weight a product that help them lose weight. If you uh, want to talk to people, uh, or if you're talking to people that want to have more energy, then you better sell them or talk to them about how you have a product that's going to help them get more energy. But what you're not going to do and make a successful connection in their brain, their synapses are not going to go off. It's not congruent. You're not going to be on your Facebook wall talking about get more energy when what they're asking for is a way to make more money. Do you? Got, that's not congruent. You guys understand what I'm saying? If you if what I'm saying is making sense, put I got it in the comments. Like you have got to help people make a connection. Now you're going to start off by deciding what lane you want to be in. Are you selling products or are you selling an opportunity? I'm not saying that you can't ever slide onto the other side ever so so gently either time. What I'm saying is you got to determine who are you showing up to be in the marketplace. If anybody were to look at me and my wall and what people are clear that I am selling opportunity to make money. 
There may be various ways that I can do that, but people are not confused as to what, what are you doing? Are you helping people make money or are you helping people lose weight? Or are you showing people how to not lose their hair? Are you showing people how to get clearer skin? Like, what is it that you're doing? It's not confusing. People know good and well what they get when they come to me because it's on my wall. It's on my cover photo. It's crystal freaking clear what you're going to come to this page and what you can expect to see. If you're saying one thing and then you're doing something else, it's not congruent. Your message is not matching your market. So you have a mismatch. The mismatch causes the buyer's brain to say, I don't understand. And a confused mind says, no, I'm not buying. I'm not even interested. So no, I'm not DMing you. No, I'm not clicking your link. No, I'm not going to leave a comment. I'm just going to put a like. I'm going to scroll past this. You've got to understand that. If you're selling a business opportunity because you want to talk to people who want extra money, you want to talk to people who want time freedom, you want to talk to people to, that want to have freedom to do what they want, then you better give them what they want. What they want is a business. They want a business in a box. They do not want a business that looks like a business where then you're going to tell them that they got to go back and talk, contact all their friends and family and get them on a Zoom, put them on a three-way, and then you know possibly get started. That's what they don't want. They want a business, but they don't want that marketing strategy of a business. So this is why a lot of people, especially in 2024, say no. Who hasn't heard of network marketing? How many of you guys have been in more than one company over the years? How many times has somebody pitched you on a company? Maybe you joined, maybe you didn't, but you're not unfamiliar and neither are your prospects. They're clearly aware of what network marketing is and either they're going to reflect and say, I had a good experience or they're going to reflect and say, I had a bad experience. Now, let's look at stats. If 97% of the people are failing in network marketing, then the likelihood that the people you're talking to, they that, that them having a bad experience is high. And then you come to them with this product that looks great, but they failed at doing this friends and family Zoom three-way thing. And then because your product is so good, you want to still bag them into that. And this is why people will be customers, but they won't be builders. They don't want to do this. But what if you were smart enough to shift the model? What if you didn't say, oh, I'm going to quit my business because my business doesn't work. And you realize that your business is just fine. Your products are just fine. The commissions are being paid out just fine. The corporate office is just fine. The, the corporate team is just fine. There's nothing wrong with the business. Why would you quit the business? Your problem is that you don't have a viable marketing mechanism. And because most people in network marketing can't teach a viable marketing mechanism, they're going to teach you hot market, friends, family, get them on the Zoom, get them on three-way call, and that's it. Or get them to the meeting, and that's it. And those of you who can't do that, they will tell you that you have to just do more. Do more of the thing that isn't working. They'll tell you, go listen to Bob Proctor some more. They'll tell you all those things as opposed to you recognizing, well, it ain't nothing really wrong with me. It's wrong with this process. I'm going to find me a new process. I like my company. I like my business. I like these products. I like these people. I don't like this process. I'm going to change my process. So now in my process, I actually go find people who want these things using these mechanisms. And then I'm going to put them into a capture page that has the message of this time, money, freedom. And then when they see time, money, freedom, they say, yep, that's what I want. Then they watch a video that says, here's how you're going to get time, money, freedom. And this video explains to people this process. This video tells them this process is how it works. That's what it's selling them on this process. So when they see this video and then they get this picture of this process painted to them, painted for them in such a way that makes sense, they hit the buy button. When they hit the buy button, they enroll their buyers. You make money. Now you're going to introduce them to these programs, but they were already sold on the fact that there were going to be programs in the video. So they don't come here and say, well, what is this? Why do I got to buy something? What, what do you mean by this was already explained here. So the person who understood this and bought this, they're expecting to have a setup. They're expecting they're, they're expecting to have 
a couple of income streams here, and they're expecting to buy some things to help them get what? More people from these sources into the top of this thing for themselves, because this is now a marketing process and a business that actually freaking works. And on the back end, we're joined, people are joining our businesses. On the back end, we're not getting rid of our businesses. We're not distracting people from our businesses. We're giving people what they want first so that they feel good about joining our business. Because how many times have you tried to give them the business up here and they reject it? But you know the business is good. You see other people signing up in the business. So it's not that the business is bad. It's that you're not putting the right message in front of the right market of people. You've got to sell time, money, and freedom to people who want time, money, and freedom. you got to have a page that tells them, here's how you get time, money, and freedom. There's a video that needs to sell them on, here's the process that you're going to take by which we're going to help you to get time, money, and freedom. When they feel like that's a connection, it's congruent, they will hit buy. When they buy, they're now enrolled. When they're enrolled, they're going to follow these steps and they're going to buy the things in here, your programs and whatever else, and you're going to make multiple streams of income. This is a stream of income, step two. Step three is a stream of income. Step four is a stream of income. There's even a um a step five, right? Uh, a step five, right? Which is a bonus stream of income, right? And anytime anybody comes in and buys these things, you're making money. But this is all on the back end. Nobody on your Facebook wall even knows this is even happening because all you're promoting is this. Imagine that for a business model. Imagine making $20 sales, $20 sales, $20 sales, $20 sales before you even talked about your business, before they even saw the video about the business, before they even got a chance to look at the link. What if you made money? Think of it like this. People are paying you to see your business. That's a whole different paradigm shift, isn't it? Versus you trying to beg people to get to your Zoom. No, you got to pay me, then I'll show you my business. That's essentially what's happening. That's why we call this a funded proposal. You're funding the proposal that you're making to people. You got to pay me to present to you. I ain't presenting unless you pay it. And it's automatically being done. So it's not like you're physically presenting anything. It's just the model. And we've automated this process such that you don't have to worry about it. You're never going to show your business to somebody who didn't pay you to see it first anyway. Why? Because all of this is on the back end. They can't see any of this until they enroll. Nobody gets to see my business until they pay me first. They can take it. They can leave it. But guess what? I'm still going to make the money here. If they don't want to join my business because they have their own businesses that they want to run, that's fine. But they're going to need traffic. They're going to need leads. And when they buy traffic and leads from this back office area, guess, guess what? That's more money for me. So I'm making money in step two if they buy. I'm making money in step three if they buy. I'm making money in step four if they buy. I'm making money in step five if they buy. If they don't ever buy any of these things, I still make money up here because they didn't even see this stuff until they bought this. So you're going to make money in this streamlined systematically and you don't have to worry about multiple streams of no income. Now you can finally have multiple streams of income without driving yourself crazy and looking like a maniac on social media and feeling like you are, you know, a chicken with your head cut off trying to promote five different things because you believe in this travel business and you believe in this credit business and you believe in this health and wellness and this has helped you to all these businesses have helped you okay well you need to put them in the back of this and you need to bring people into the front door of your house first then point people to the dining room and the living room stop trying to bring people into the dining room by itself from the outside you're trying to bring people into the living room from the outside you're trying to bring people into the kitchen from the back side you're trying to bring people into the front door from to, to the for you from the front side. Try to bring people in. See, what if you had a door on all four sides of your house and you had to make sure people wasn't coming in or off? That makes zero sense. You have a door at the front of the house. Anybody want to come visit, they come to the front door. Ring front doorbell. That's it. Anybody got the no business in the back of your house? First, first of all. So everybody needs to come to the come to the front door. You ring the doorbell. I say, who is it? I let you in. When I let you in, now 
I can say, hey, we're having dinner in the dining room. But hey, if you need to go to the bathroom, the bathroom is over there. Oh, wait, if you need to go to the kitchen to grab some juice, you could do that. Oh, if you want to go out on the back and enjoy the nice uh, mariachi band that's out there, you could go do that. We are having a little pool party. You can go take a swim in the pool. We got the beach ball out there. You could do all of that once they come in the front door. But you're trying to sell the pool party at the front yard. You're trying to sell the dining room food at on the on the front lawn you trying to sell the bathroom out on the front lawn you trying to sell the turkey dinner on the front lawn you trying to sell the drinks in the kitchen on the front lawn you got all this crap on your front lawn you look like a flea market and that's why people are walking past it that look like a mess a hot mess so they give a thumbs up on your wall and they keep it pushing but when you have a big, beautiful house and you have all the lights on the front and you have the uh, and you have a, a nice little sign that says enter and they all streamline in. Nobody knows what you got going on in your house and how people are enjoying themselves and the different activities that's happening inside of your house because you are not being a crazy person trying to sell all your activities on the front of your house. Do you guys get it? Is, does anybody have an aha moment or a ding, ding, ding or a. Uh, ding, light bulb. You might have a light bulb moment because if you understand this model, if you understand this model, this is what we're doing. This is how you're going to recruit more people. Now, does that mean there aren't going to be situations or opportunities where you might need to do a Zoom or you might need to talk to friends and family or you might need to do? No, we're not saying this is being completely obliterated off the face of the planet. What we're saying is that that's not our model. That's not our model. It's not the way we normally do things. This is outside the scope of our model. This is our model, M-O-D-E-L. This is what we're doing every day for success. But in certain circumstances, you may meet somebody where you might want to get them to a Zoom because it makes more sense based on what that person wants to do. Do you still reserve the capability to do that? Does your company still do Zooms? Absolutely. You just not on them. <laughs> Does your company still do a three-way call or your upline? Will they still do one? I had a guy call me the other day on my team and say, hey, I know we don't really do three-way calls like that, but would you do one with this guy? I said, you know what? I haven't done one in a while, but I've been, I did them for 10 years. I'll do one. Sure. No problem. I'm not going to reject it if it needs to be done, but that's not my model. This is what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. This is how I'm making money on autopilot on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not trying to make money on a day-to-day -day basis, getting people to a Zoom and a three-way call. I'm not going to do my time like that. I'm not going to do myself like that. I'm not going to do my son like that. I'm not going to do my life like that. This is not a Wi-Fi. That's not a Wi-Fi business to me. It's not a Wi-Fi, but that means I got to go out of town on vacation and I got to still tell my family, hey, y'all, I got to go in the, in the villa and do a Zoom at eight o'clock. I got to still do that. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to send people to this page and this VSA will do all the selling and telling on my behalf. And I know that the person came to the virtual meeting because they put their name and email right here. So I still got them. I don't have to go and pick them up and bring them to the meeting to make sure they get there. They're there. I see their name and I see their email in my database. They're there. And they got there on their own. Fantastic. They're adults. Imagine that. And then I can follow up with them via email if they don't buy right now. That's fine. But I know that they were there. And guess what? I was on the pool. I mean, I was in the pool. I was at the beach. I was parasailing when all this was happening. I like automation in my business because I can still take the principles of network marketing and I can automate them systematically where it could be put into a process that still allows me to make money. And when a person, here's the key and we're done. When a person goes through a process that they feel good about, guess what they do? They buy and after they buy, they promote because they feel good about promoting it. When a person goes through a process that they don't feel good about, Oh, I got to get on the Zoom or how I'm going to get people. And they start questioning how they're going to do it or it's not working or this. When they start questioning it, then they don't feel good about doing it. And as a result of them not feeling good about doing it, they will self-sabotage. They will not go and get other people because they fear that those people aren't going to want to deal with it either. So now there's nobody selling, telling, recruiting, building. Nobody's doing anything. That's why organizations go stagnant. Especially when you have people that will build.
If they will build and they're not building, it's because they don't like the process. It's very simple. If they like the process and they're still here, they would be doing the process. But if they're still here and they're not doing the process, give them a different process. You still have to give people what they want. You want to make sales, give people what they ask for or what they want, not what they ask for. Because sometimes people don't even know what to ask. But when you have a good video sales letter, a person intrinsically knows that they want these things. They may not know how to convey or articulate these things. But when you have a good video sales letter that hits these triggers and hits these pain points for them and these buttons, when they, they, when they see that, they say, yeah, that's what I want. I want to have a business like this. I want to have a business where I'm not tied to it. I love my network marketing company, but I just don't want to do it that way. I'm telling you, you can do it this way. You can systemize, systematize this, and you can automate this, and you can feel good about this. So when you see me out there marketing, please understand all of my network, mar my business and other programs I got are on the back end. Please don't think that this is it. This is just the beginning, baby. This is the front end. This is the first coin I get. Then it's a second coin and a third coin and a fourth and a fifth and however many coins it is. There's more coins after this coin. But if somebody says no to your A or your B, what do you have? You have nothing. You know why? Because everybody's depending upon a Zoom and your Zoom may or may not have the best presenter. Your Zoom may or may not have the person who can bring that person from where they are over the edge to where they're willing to put their money out or put their credit card up. That person on that Zoom may be excited, but that person on the Zoom didn't land the message to the person where the person said, this is what I need. When you have a proven converting video sales letter and you know that this video makes sales i you want to get as many people in front of this video sales letter as you possibly can and i don't gotta wait till tuesday or thursday to do it i gotta wait till eight o'clock or nine o'clock to do it i can do it right now in fact a person can go to my facebook wall and click it anytime they want to it's always there anytime they want to they can go through this process that is called automation and i am telling you that automation equals freedom freedom to do what you want to do and it's going to offer people freedom to do what they want to do it's going to be time freedom because you don't have to sit here and babysit adults on getting through a business process and you're going to be able to earn money on autopilot where he's going to get emails and commissions that's what we want now is it the easiest thing to do maybe not but is it simple enough that you can go through these little four setup steps you can do that you can do that and i know you can do that because there's been hundreds of people there's are thousands of people who already did that so I wanted to share with you how you can beat the multiple streams of no income syndrome. What you need to do is you need to streamline your income streams such that they are lined up in a way that people are willing to buy in a sequential order. But the model has to be presented to them first as to why they're buying in a sequential order. If a person understands that they're going to be buying in a sequential order, then they're prepared to buy in a sequential order. And that's what allows you to make sales on autopilot. If people don't understand what they're buying or why they're buying it or that they're buying it, but they don't like how they're going to have to sell it, you're going to be dead in the water. Dead in the water. Don't believe me? Look at your teams. Don't believe me? Look across the network marketing landscape. Now, we always going to have the people that have been masters of the zone, masters of three way. And those people are going to win doing that thing. That's fine. But guess what they are? They're not jack of all trades, masters of none. No, they're masters of that. They're mastering something that they like to do. But you don't like to do that. So the likelihood that you're going to master something that you don't like to do is slim to none. You, you prefer to quit the business than to try to master something that you don't even like to do. And business should be fun. Like this is an additional stream of income. This is not your full-time career. So why should you be forced to do something that you don't want to do? I'm a firm believer in doing what makes me happy. Doing what I enjoy to do. So when I hop up out of bed in the mornings, I'm excited to, to run my business. I'm excited to get to the desk. I'm excited to get to the phone. I'm excited to create that content. I'm excited to get on these 
these live I'm excited to do these things because I like what I do. If you don't like what you got to do, you're going to drag to that Zoom. You're going to be off camera on the Zoom. You know you don't have no guests. You didn't even invite no guests because you ain't feel like inviting no guests. But you on there because your upline said, everybody get on here. So you on there. In fact, it's a Zoom full of reps. Ain't nobody on the Zoom. That's a guest. So y'all just on there wasting each other time because ain't nobody signing up nobody because it ain't no guests. I'm not into wasting my time just to make other people feel like we're being busy. I'd rather you not be busy. I'd rather you let somebody who's a professional build out this process for you where all you have to do is a few setup steps and then you go to work with doing this where your only job is to get these people and dump them in here. Get these people and dump them in here. Get these people and dump them in here. You ain't got to worry about building this. You ain't got to worry about building that. You ain't got to worry about the commission structure, the system. You ain't even got to really worry about emailing them. It's already done. All you got to do is go through this by get enrolled in these programs, get your traffic, get your leads, and start driving people right back here. That's all you have to do. Now, to me, that sounds like fun. It sounds like so much fun that I love doing it every single day. And I've been helping quite a few people realize how fun this really can be once you get it going. So it looks like in the comment section that everybody said they got it. Not everybody, but some of y'all say, I got it. This is good. It's a great plan. Right. I see it's a great plan. I see. Yes, yes, yes. I see a 100. I see. I got it. I see. I got it. So that's letting me know that y'all got it. OK, so here's what I want you guys to do. Um, I want you to um, look right above this video and you'll see a link. You'll see a link that's there. And I want you to click on that link. And I want you to now, when you go to that link, I want you to think about the process. I've taught you what you're, what you're getting ready to go through. And when you go through it, I want you to listen and feel, feel the process. But I want you to also know what's happening with you. I've given you the model that you're going through. And you're going to go through it. You're going to experience it. You're going to say, aha, that makes sense. And then when you go and get other people and bring them to it, that's the same thing. It is the same thing. It really is. And we're going to talk about duplication. You cannot duplicate people. You can't even duplicate loose systems. Like the system might be bring people to the, bring people to the hotel meeting and then we'll do a circle up for a three-way and then we'll get people filled out with their get get applications filled out online and get signed up. But there's glitches in the matrix. Glitch in the matrix is, yeah, the system is I'm trying to get the person to the meeting. They told me they was coming at the last minute. Now they're not coming. If something like that happens, that throws your whole day off. And now you already dressed and now you're showing up with no guests. So that's a system, but it's not really an, a, system a systemized way of doing it. It's too many variables. In this, there's no, there's really no variables. It, there are some, but everybody go through the exact same, everybody hit the exact same presenter, the exact same way, in the exact same order, with the exact same photos, exact same pictures, exact same outfit that the presenter has on the exact same message that has sold thousands of other people you're going to see the exact same message it's not tuesday is one is done one way and thursday is done a different way it's the same exact way that's what creates duplication the fact it's the same exact way the mcdonald's arches are the same exact way they're not this width in Chicago and this width in Detroit. They're the same exact way. It's measured to be the exact same thing. The paper that you wrap the cheeseburger in is the same exact paper in every single place. It's the yellow paper. We all know that. The filet of fish is in the box. We know that. The fries are in the red box. We know that. It's the same exact way. It doesn't vary from McDonald's to McDonald's. And when you're in network marketing and somebody is presenting on Tuesday, somebody is presenting on Thursday, somebody is presenting on Saturday, it's different people presenting different information at different times, a different way over and over and over. I'm not saying that's bad. What I'm saying is that it is not as consistent as something like this. It's not as consistent. So if you want consistency, if you want real duplication, you can only duplicate a system that is truly a system that doesn't change, not a system with loose variables. I think y'all got the message. So I want you to go ahead, I want you to click that link and I want you to get yourself plugged in. Now, that's only if you want automation. That's only if you like making money on autopilot. And that's only if you want to be able to make sales without having to be holding hands with somebody and walking them through the, the sign up form. 
Like, I hate that. Like, oh, then you got to get on the phone with somebody and help them get signed up. Why? To make sure they get signed up. Why? Because then they'll walk away. Well, if they really wanted it, why would they walk away? Oh, they don't really want it. So that's why we're on here to ensure that they actually sign up with it. No, 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 no. We're, li- we're, we're, we're shifting our paradigm where we believe so wholeheartedly that a person that sees that video, if they like it, they're going to buy it. I don't got to sit there and walk them through an online form. You know how to buy stuff on the internet. I don't need to be your mom or you need to be somebody's dad. Adults know how to buy things on the internet if they want to buy it. So if the video sales letter encourages them and, and taps into their spirit where they say they, they want this thing, they need, they will buy it. They will buy it and it will follow all the steps. I believe that in my heart, in my spirit. So I don't want to baby people. I want to find adults and I want to find leaders. And I want to find people who have initiative and I want to work with people who can think for themselves. That's who I want to work with. So I put them through a process that allows them to demonstrate that they know how to do that. If I try to put somebody through this process and this person is calling me like, oh, I don't know how to put my email in here or what's my email address or what do I push when I ask I put. If somebody is doing that, that's not the person for me. If they get to the video sales letter and they say, oh, the video is not playing and they don't know how to hit the play button, that person's not for me. I don't have anything against the person like that. I'm just saying that's not the person that I am going to be the best guide for. You guys understand what I'm saying? If you're looking for a higher quality person, you've got to put people through a qualification process. And if you want people that want to build on the internet, then they will go through an internet qualification process. And then you'll never have to figure out whether or not a person says, oh, I don't even have a computer. If you try to sign somebody like, oh, I don't have a computer. Wait, you want to have an internet business, you don't have a computer. Okay, so you want to have a lawnmower business, you don't have a lawnmower? <laughs> what are we doing? What are we? Okay, come back to me when you're ready, baby. So come back to me when you're ready. That's where you got to be. So I hope this all made sense. I believe it did. So what I want you to do is I want you to go up there. I want you to click that link. I want you to get yourself plugged in. Do not delay. And you're going to go through the exact same process everybody else goes through. You're going to see it. You're going to say, aha, this makes sense. You're going to get enrolled. And you're going to go and you're going to follow those steps. You're going to buy that stuff that's back there. You're going to put your own program that's back there. Either way, it makes me know, never mind. I just need you to know that there is a process that will allow you to beat the multiple streams of no income syndrome. I want to thank you all for joining me on tonight's Wednesday live stream. Um, If you have any questions or you want to share anything, guys, go ahead and post it in the group. All right. The group, we are still live in full effect and active. If you still want to enhance your skills on communication, my script book is still a wonderful resource because you still want to be able to talk to people if you need to. If you want to get the recruit like crazy boot camp, I'm really kind of teaching this in the boot camp. But the boot camp was trying to show you how to do it yourself. Now I'm sh- sharing with you how it can already be done for you. So the boot camp has still all of the gems because what I put together for you is literally the fundamentals of what it takes to build a network marketing business. That is what it takes. But when you have an automated system that brings all those components together that now you get to leverage you now have a system that lets you leverage it. But if I ever need to be in the DM, I still know how to take people through the seven magic questions because that's the fundamentals of how you walk people through that. But when I'm walking people through that, if I do that, I'm still giving, dropping them a link to what? I'm dropping them a link to this. I'm not dropping them a link to my network marketing company. I'm dropping them a link to this because this is what people want. Okay, you get it? Got it? good. I'll see everybody next week. Same time, same place. Enjoy the rest of your evening and um, go ahead, click the link, get plugged in right now. Later guys.